Take control of your resources in these 5 easy steps so that you can be more prepared for future content. The most precious resource in the game is original resin and knowing how to spend it is an important step to saving your time and resources in the long run. Up until rank 25, you will most likely keep spending the resin on either world bosses or leyline deposits. But once you get to rank 30, a lot of domains will have a new supply of artifact sets that are quite lucrative if you obtain them. The problem with this approach is that you're only focused on a specific artifact set that you will only have a random chance of obtaining. The better end of a deal would be to hunt the world bosses who will give you a steady supply of artifacts, but more importantly, character ascension materials. Even though you can get very powerful sets from domains, once you obtain them, you will most likely be lacking ascension materials for your characters and also prevent them from getting their talent levels increased. And the only way to get these materials would be to wait for the resin to refresh, potentially delaying your progress for a few days or more. Only after you have plenty of character ascension materials, you can then start considering artifact domains. One of the few ways to make a killing with primo gems is by completing the spiral abyss floors. The first three levels shouldn't pose a challenge to anyone, but what's waiting afterwards can be a little daunting. But there's an efficient way you can use to climb the spiral abyss, and that's by investing into one to two healers. Since at the making of this video, both Noel and Barbara are available to everyone, so there are excellent choices to bring into each floor, especially once you start doing double team challenges. But having at least one healer whom you put resources into growing will be a great investment on return, especially in the long run. Genshin Impact is very different from other gacha games to how it handles its summoning system. You have most likely noticed that the advertised sentence on each preview of the wish dictates that every 10 wishes you're guaranteed at least one 4 star. You have also probably heard that there's what's called a pity system which guarantees that every 90 wishes you will get a 5 star drop. What hasn't been clearly disclosed is the fact you can actually reach both of these pity awards with single wishes as well. But anytime you get a 4 star character or weapon, the counter will reset. Very clear example would be here. If you go to the details of the current wishing menu and look when was the last time you got a 4 star, you can then count down how many away you are from your next 4 star. In this example, we see that 3 weapons have been summoned so within the next 7 summons we will get a 4 star. Soon enough, we get Fischl and then the counter resets and for the testing purpose of each next single summon, you will notice that exactly at 10 summons we get another 4 star. Now this 4 star could have happened sooner than 10 summons but we simply got unlucky and had to do all 10 single wishes. In short, if you want to optimize your primo gem spending, use your wishes one at a time. Cooking dishes has a lot of benefits to it, especially when you're dealing with annoying world challenges or domains that take too long to complete without an attack buff. And while a lot of dishes provide amazing benefits, some of them have a hidden cost that isn't very clear without further inspection. All characters require specific region specialties in order to ascend, and quite few of these dishes contain these items as their ingredients. One good example is Xiongling. More than 7 dishes require Juyin chili, but at the same time it's also used for her ascension. It's best best not to cook any dishes that require character ascension materials since they only respawn within a few days and it can get very tedious to collect them, especially if your character is ready for ascension and is missing those ingredients. If you truly want to prepare dishes with these materials, at least have a supply of 80 plus before you start dipping into your ascension materials and even then, it's better to just avoid the dish in case you get lucky and summon a character who needs these materials. If you finally decided to start building a 4 star weapon, then you might want to consider getting a craftable weapon from the blacksmith. A quick analysis shows us that unless we heavily spend primo gems on specific wishes like epitome invocation, we won't have it easy when it comes to obtaining 5 copies of the same weapon to reach its max refinement. On the other hand, there are multiple ways for us to obtain the materials needed to start building blacksmith weapons, which are actually very decent to use. For example, prototype Aminus has a chance to deliver insane burst attacks and its only on its second refinement. Which brings us to the copies, we can obtain few of them by completing quests and purchasing from the souvenir shop, but the most important source will be the weekly dragon and wolf fights, which both have a chance to drop one of the prototype materials randomly. And while this option doesn't guarantee you can get your weapons refined quickly, it sure beats the odds of using your wishes instead. Quick summary shows us that killing world bosses in exchange for resin gives the best long term value, and investing into at least one healer will give us an easier time with Spiral Abyss, which gives out generous rewards for completing it. And if you ever use the Wish system, you can go for the single option, especially 
especially if you keep an eye on your summon details. Finally, you should consider withholding from cooking dishes that have character ascension materials as their listed ingredients. And if you're looking for a more reliable option of investing into a strong weapon, you can go for the craftable weapons from the blacksmith. Enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and gently press the like button. Don't forget to check out our other Genshin Impact guides or visit us at gotchagamer.com. Thank you for watching us.